All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Let's head on over to uh, Monarch. I have to talk to Ada. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Uh, doesn't this guy have a life? I don't believe so, Captain. Transmission incoming. Oh my god. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Oof. That bad there? <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? A hotbed of political activity sounds fun. I certainly wouldn't call it boring, especially if your idea of fun involves navigating a hostile biosphere populated by carnivorous monsters. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Okay. Well, I've got some questions. Let's Come see what see I can ask. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. All right, never mind. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Uh, can we talk for a minute? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. Okay. Uh... I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. Perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? Mm, I think, maybe? When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Uh, and what might that be? Yeah, I'll just... <laughs> I'll just bet they do. Traveling the system with you, Captain. Aww. What about your laugh, Captain? Do you miss him? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Uh, have there been any other captains of this ship? We, uh, we both know I'm not Alex Hawthorne, right? Yeah, I, I, she knows. If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. How can I be of assistance? Alright. Take care. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. Off to Monarch we go. Yeah, let's go to let's go to uh Stella Bay. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. All right. So, yeah, we can take the, the two we already have. <laughs> Sam, Jesus Christ, you giant hunk of robot. All 
right, here we are. Jesus. This is gorgeous. Looks dirty, but gorgeous. Hello, Grim. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Yes. Whatever, I'm not here to chit chat. You seem surprised. Oh, uh, well, th that is my ship on the landing pad right next to you. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. Uh, what are they doing out there? It takes more than a few gunships to scare me. Wish more folk could say that. It gets awful quiet guarding a landing pad that never gets used. You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets awful traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Ah, don't be like that. I never get to do this part. Please. Fine. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Uh, still, are they really that isolated? You're not uh, what I expected to find on Monarch? Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. Mostly? <laughs> Mostly, he says. Alright, uh, are you saying the board's been lying about this place? Oh, sure. They make Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. Okay, well... We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Okay, well, I'm gonna go have a look around. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Sure. Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor. Which is? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tossball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Sure. Oh, uh, who's the black hole? That's Bertie Holcomb. Only one of the greatest tossball hackers ever. I wonder if he's kin. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. I never got to meet them. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You been living in a sulfur pit or something? Something like that. On account of him being the best hacker who ever played, nothing gets by him. He sucks up every ball that comes his way. Whatever you say, I could talk toss ball for hours. Oh my god. I just noticed that said I'd word that differently. I couldn't really say I'm just a fan of the game. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. Sure. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. I, I doubt that's how that works, but okay. Hello, Bennett. Laws. Can a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? Are you here to advertise? What I am doing, ma'am, is enjoying the moment. 
It's so rare that I can seize one apart from the jabbering masses of this wretched place. What are you talking about? Your neighbors probably aren't missing your company either, I think. And how should they know what they're missing? I recall when Stellar Bay was a proper board-affiliated town with regular shipments of Auntie Cleo's Best and all the cereals before Sanjar took over MSI and got us all booted. That does sound nice. You missed the good old days, but now you're free from the board. Yes, free to wallow and squalor together. Free to squabble with the iconoclasts over a raptodon infested hellhole. Look, you're making me melancholy. Is there something you wanted? Nope, just wanted to harass you, I guess. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Hey, Celia. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest Saltuna and Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Oh, uh, well, uh, what was that exchange about? Have money trouble? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix a thing his own self and busted it even worse and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's docking your wages again? Okay. Not that I got any prior experience with such. Wow. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on Raptid on Acid. Why? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Why? I've got some trash to sell you. Oh, I don't need any of it. It's also I can talk to Sebastian. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. Yeah. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. I bet. I couldn't. What if he says no? You want me to- Hey, maybe you could ask him for me. I, I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh. Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Right, uh, another thing. Oh, I'm curious. He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Oh my god. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Dude. Good to have standards, I guess. I know what I'm looking for. How much you want to bet he's an absolute moron who just doesn't skip leg day? <laughs> uh, you really want to talk, uh, want to be with someone you can't talk to? Uh, there are other fish in the sea, Celia. Not in Stellar Bay. Everyone else who isn't taken either smells like salt tuna or they're my boss. Besides, a man with a good smile and a proportionate upper to lower body ratio isn't something to pass up. I mean, I could take you off world. You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. Okay, she just wants to get railed by the guy. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Actually, I do have, have to talk to you. Sebastian yet? No, no, what did I haven't. Say? Shh, shh. Toss ball poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hey, uh, Mr. Nandi. <laughs> Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. Got nothing How to do with me. How can improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? 
How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often <laughs> posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you have a meeting with me. You'd be a hit in Byzantium. Oh god. Did you hear that power play, Celia? They don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. By god. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Now, what business brings you here? Uh, just looking for an information broker, me. Just charting my path, going where the wind takes me. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. <laughs> it could always be both. Afraid not. Uh, if you have to eat more weird... So if, if I have to eat more weird science project pass off his food in this sprat fucked colony I'm gonna stab someone yes that's it channel your anger I only wish I could do the same <laughs> seems like you're having a rough time Mr. Sanjar are you doing quite alright oh don't worry on my account this is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments Erotic? I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. What exactly are you hoping to accomplish? If you're free, uh, if you're free of the corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Sounds like a personal problem. Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called Hazard Clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. now we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Mm hmm And you're tired of scrounging and scrapping and buy, is that it? Sounds like you're freer than anyone else in Halcyon, why not embrace it? Yeah, you could turn it into a bigger, bi like, business venture. Exactly what I would have said, if I'd been paying attention. You wow. talk like Graham. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a rather pretty slogan. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts to lose its shine. You make a good point. Uh, so, what you mean? Uh, what do you mean to do about it? That's a coward's answer. It kind of is, but what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Ingenious plan? Don't get me wrong. I'm starting to admire your sand, but I bet you could overcomplicate a sisty sandwich. Ah! What a charmingly roguish turn of phrase. Allow me to express my thanks at your confidence and assure you that my plan is indeed sufficiently complicated. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. This lady knows what's going on. Enough preamble, what's the plan? It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Okay. How long do you ta uh, did it take you to figure out that you needed to defend your city? Not long, but the devil is always in the details. And the salient detail here is a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Never realized fighting the bureaucracy could be this interesting. It is quite the rush. 
Uh, where do I find one? Once you got it, what, uh, what's the other part of your plan? I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Okay. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Sounds shady. Sure, bye, that's a... Alright, well... Our objective... Wait, what? Oh! But the one objective we did have is actually in here. The other objective. You're who I'm supposed to talk to. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby wrap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Sure, another round bartender. I'll stay in, uh, and chat, but you look like you've had enough. I'll stand. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? Vacation. Oof. Some hell you've chosen. You must really love fish. Allergic, actually. <laughs> was just kidding. I'm told you could find. Yeah, I don't know uh, what I was thinking. Anyhow, I'm gonna get going. You can just leave. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass, brass... nuts? Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Brass let's... tags. Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You have to get me something to clear my head. Like? Uh, not in the mood to fetch. How much time do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're... Very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? All right, fine. But no more after that. Oh my God, didn't mean to pull out the gun. Is that the dispenser? Yes. What's in here? There's no sign. Is, is this a hotel? What is this? Look, I don't... Oh, sorry. For a second, I thought you were grim. No. If you want to talk to the boss, she's in the back of the warehouse. Who's that? I don't even know where I am, so just... I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Let's just get those pills. Oh, 
Oh, this is the warehouse. Oh, Velma. This is Velma. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Catherine said she'd shove a box in you. Oh, shove you in a box. Sorry. Seems I got my cables crossed. Thought you were another shakedown tough from Fallbrook. Hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Uh, your chief what? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. First of all, what is your definition of too many tumors for a fucking fish? There's no de there's no <laughs> adequate definition other than none. Uh he'll come back eventually. Hmm. Don't uh don't you have rules? We're not keen on rules for rules sake around here. Means Braxton skips work sometimes, but it also means no company boss is telling me when I can take a shit. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Oh. Something else on your mind? Mm, yeah, actually, I'm here about the poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grim his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? Who's Nell? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. Damn right it is. Okay, uh... Do you, you still have the poster, right? Uh, you're... Didn't he pay for it? No. I paid Sublight for it. So, it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Alright, you still ha have it, right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. Okay. Fine. She said it's locked up in her office or in her house upstairs or something? Nice and easy. We go. Nice and easy. Is that a revolver? Interesting. Well, we got Grimm's poster. Oh, wow. Wow. I also went out the back door, and I didn't mean to do that. Let's get the those caffeinoid pills. Velma seen out of sorts too. It's always great. Hello. Hello, dearie. Why I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Oh. Quite the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Need caffeinoid pills. Uh. And what a helpful young lady you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. 
Please leave medical advice to the professionals. <laughs> now, dearie, who's this pickup for? Actually, the pills are for me. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Can't trust people these days. Oh, that's just awful. Uh, you don't give a uh, five-fingered... Oh my god, no. Except for you. I can tell. You've got one of those faces. Oh, thank you. I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. Okay. Uh, when can she get an extra? I'm afraid it'll be the better part of a month. Our dear Nioka tends to exhaust her supply rather quickly. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better than to help you. <laughs> but there's not much I can do. Okay. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. A forgetful fellow. Huh? Careless experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll eventually. But until then, it's lots of fun. <laughs> Episodic pharmacological delirium is no laughing matter, young lady. Uh. In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Oh, he's dead. Poor man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, he tried some rather daring substance combinations. And it killed him. It's a philosophist symbol of some kind, dearie. Never you mind. The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Right. Chin up, dearie. So where she said it was upstairs but where oh all right save Okay, let's get out of here, girls. We got a couple of things to uh, deliver. First of all, let's go see Grim. If I can find him. Is it this way? Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in.
sorry, I just get so excited, and I always feel like I miss everything that happens in town while I'm up here. Okay. That don't seem fair. I was the one who asked for it in the first place. You think maybe you could talk to Velma, see if she won't change her mind? See what I get? What? I have it. I stole it. Can't I give it to him? So who's Nell again? Hold on. Journal. No, this companion stuff. Uh. Nope. Nope. Well, I have it. I, I pr I'm pretty sure I took it. I remember taking it. Wait, so what the hell do I have? Possible. Oh, it's a card. Can't do that. So let, let's see if I can talk to her. That's the storage. That's Nell. face wow you must be up on all the latest toss ball games so who do you follow wait don't tell me you look like a hammersmith thunder fan no glacial age mammoths i play for the auntie cleo's darlings don't you recognize me i'd heard they'd gotten a new hacker is that why everyone's making such a fuss about you but what are you doing on monarch Maybe we're not so isolated as I thought. So, what can I do for you? Uh. Signed by the Black Hole himself. There's no way I could pass that up. Why, did you want to see it? I don't have it yet. I'm waiting on a few customers to pay up before I can give Velma the bits. I think it's really brave that uh, you outbid Sunchar's best friend. You mean Dopey Landing Pad Grim? I didn't know he and Mr. Nandi were friends. I guess that changes things. Fine. Tell Velma that I don't want the poster anymore. I'll find something else to hang in my shop. You said you were having trouble with the transmission? Graham's always filling the airwaves with his propaganda. Like it's done him any good. All it means is the tossball games get to us in fragments. Makes them real hard to watch. Okay. <coughs> Velma. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Sure. Gosh, this old girl's in a rough way. Even old Bess in Edgewater was in better shape than this. Hey, you want to try running a cannery with obsolete machinery? You be my guest. Um, sorry ma'am, I wasn't trying to be rude. It's just, your flanging apparatus isn't making a strong flange, so your sealer isn't sealing right, and... Oh. I see what you're saying. Oh. I'll have to try that. Anyway, what do you folks need? 
Yeah, just, uh... Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Yeah, she's offering nothing. That's a surprise. Tossball being part of her business and all. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Something else on your mind? Not at all. Why not just take the long way? All right, Grandma, I got you a goddamn poster. I don't want to hear anything about it either. Have you had time to check on that poster? Would you look at that? The Rizzo's <coughs> logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Okay. Sweet. Yoga? Ah, the charmer. Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business. All of the above? Uh, sober. Says someone who's never had any fun. Exactly. See? I'm glad someone on your crew's got some sense sensible got her head on straight. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the uh oh no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. That was fast. I gotta see about stalking some on the ship. You be careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful employment. Glad to have you. Not looking uh, for company on the road. Great. Thank <coughs> you. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. Oof. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. Okay. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. <coughs> <coughs> All right, Ellie, back to the ship. I hope you like being part of our crew, Nyoka. We're real excited to have you. Oh, no, no. Monarch ain't safe, even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortitude. Folks hire me because I know what you can shoot and what you ought to run from. That's a mistake you only get to make once. This is very true. Okay, so I can take some things from here. Hey, girls, stay right there, please. All right, out we go. Wow, really? That's stealing? It's just kind of sitting in the middle of nowhere. All right, so, wait. Broker. All right, so let's upgrade. Vati. <clears throat> what is this? Uh, companion swaps weapons and reloads much faster. Damage dealt by companion abilities. Chance to immediately resetting companions. That one. They perform their companion. Okay. And what's this? Oh wait, back. Oh, she's a heavier, heavy user. 
What does she got there? 800, oh my god. Versus, yeah, no, okay. She's better. <clears throat> Okay, so what are we going for now? Let's actually find these flowers just real quick. Wrapped musk and painted eyes right here. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Sebastian, you ever get your hands on those pheromone sacks? Manipillers ain't gonna hunt themselves, you know. I must have hunted a dozen, but I couldn't find a single sack on any of them. You must be looking in the wrong place. Or you're bad <laughs> at cutting them up. Manipillers ain't got pheromone sacks. I just told them that so he'd stop asking me for advice. At least I'm getting a good haul of claws in the process. You're in good hands. Traveling with Monarch's top merc. Still, if you want any rap glands or manti claws, I've got you covered. <coughs> huh. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that raptid on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Uh, would you consider going on a date with her? <coughs> Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? No. Oh, no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. You smited her. Smote? Smoot? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit. On account of no one else having any use for raptid on tongues. She's not in it for the discount. Don't take my word, spend some time with her. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay, I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. <clears throat> That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. Yeah, I feel you. Cuz he 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 doesn't seem he doesn't seem all the way there. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Okay. But how did he say it? Did he sound excited or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, "Yay, I think Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this." Or was it more, "Sure." I don't have anything else going on. Uh, he likes you. Just don't ask him for any discounts. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back to work look. <clears throat> Anyhow, thank you. No problem. I'm glad I can help you. <laughs> Uh, there was something else here that I needed to do, right? Like, in town? Huh. Track down... Yeah, he's... Oh, this, that's right. I was looking for that. Oh, this is actually closer. Oh no, that's out in the world. So I take it this is at a restaurant. Help! Someone's been killed! Oh god, who said that? I think I'm gonna be sick. No! I just stepped in a dead man's blood. And I think one of the flies landed on my mouth. If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. 
that's where the body is. Oh shit, now, this is where that dude for Velma me, is. I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Why don't you just take a hot shower instead of contemplate one? Oh, this is the wrong one. Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh. oh, sorry, sorry. Just spooked me, was all. Even Stella Bay ain't safe these days. What's the world coming to? I mean, you made it very clear it wasn't safe to begin with. Sure. All right, well, let's try to investigate. Toss ball bedding. So is this his apart, is this the apartment of the guy? That we were looking for? I don't know, but we'll Whatever see. Do, You'll never hear the end of it. Is there nobody in here? <clears throat> hey. Hmm? Oh, you startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Braxton. I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you, sorry. Okay, you know something. Oh. In that case, he told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? Okay. Poor fella. Hope he's okay. We should hurry, Captain. Everything's spinning. I'm just gonna take it easy, okay? Care package. Okay, well, Jesus Christ. Don't really have anybody to talk to about that whole uh, thing either, but let's get these dust cakes. Whoa, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. Why? Sorry, I didn't mean to start you. Is everyone in this town chicken livered? Uh, would you admit that? Why would you admit that to anyone? Because there's no shame in having overactive bladder muscles, all right? It's a perfectly normal medical condition. Besides, life in this town is enough to try anyone's nerves. How's that? Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs, or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls. The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation, and I was a fool for staying. Okay. That was a real popular meal 10, 20 years back, before the board tucked tail and ran. These days, everybody's had a belly full of salt tuna. They all want borst, and the mushrooms, well. Not many venture out of town, what with the monsters hereabouts. I can whip one up for you, but it'll cost. Here's a menu. Oh, yikes. I can't cover this much, Captain. 3,000 bits. What? No, Captain, I, I don't want you to do it this way. It's all right, miss. I'm a coward at heart. Made that clear from the outset. Look, Captain. This is the best I can do without putting myself out of business. I'm glad you saw reason 2,000 bits is more reasonable. I'm mighty glad you reckon so. This is gonna take about an hour in the oven. Nothing I can do to speed it. That's just how cooking works. There we are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. 
My belly's gurgling just to smell it, Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much. A pleasure to help such a charming young lady. You're a gentle soul, miss. Be careful with this one, all right? She's kind of a brute. Oh, gosh. My tongue's rumbling just smelling that casserole. Well, that's good. We finally got your casserole, so we can do the other stuff when we return. So I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. I hope you enjoyed, because I enjoyed having you. And if you are watching on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe, all that to help me out. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.